Okay, we're at day two of the Action Film Challenge. Um, we created a script and brought it to everybody today, and they didn't like it, so we started again. Um, so the right, we were Skyping in with some people that are away at the minute, the writers, and so a consultant. Um, we've come up with a, a story, and the writers are doing a script right now. Um, and we've got a lot of people that want to be involved around the room. Uh, and we're quite excited about it. Well, when we got the message through for the all the specifics that need to be in the script, we sort of analysed it. We're, for a day, we sort of went away, thought of ideas of how we can um, integrate the different parts into the story, like the, uh, the Jack character and uh, the photograph, the, the lines of dialogue that need to be in there as well. I think now we've got a structure together and hopefully we can integrate each part into it. So uh, we're going to try and get a science fiction film because we've got some really good animators and VFX guys um, and I think that'll just put us a couple of likes up. Um, well, we're going to kind of make it big, you know. Um, we want it to, in a short space of time, look close on to being a Hollywood blockbuster as far as visual effects. So we're going to have huge motherships appearing, probably explosions, you know, uh, gunshots, the, the sort of things you see in most action films or big sci-fi films. Um, but obviously, it's a small team, and we're all working for free. So there's only, and obviously, there's only 30 days as well. So we're going to have to kind of keep it to a level that's comfortable for everyone to work with and that's why I've been sitting in on the script so that it doesn't go too far into the realm of undoable, you know. What would be awesome to achieve by the end of the 30 days or the 28 days now is a good little film that people enjoy watching. Um, again, I look to it as a bit of a calling card for the area because they've got so many creative people in this field and you know, people just laugh when you say you're from Grimsby, they don't like it, or you're from Scunthorpe. Um, but I know, you know, it's a better place than what people believe it is. And the media industry here is, you've got some top-notch people that are really good at what they do. So to get them recognised would be really cool. And to, you know, to win the prize for Britain would be ace.